Welcome now. We're going to see what's being activated with this Aries full moon. I do believe it's Metatron's cube because we're in the time of Libra season and expanding with our relationships, restoring balance within them. So the tension restores the motion and we're making the proper shapes here. We're making the proper patterns in order to go forth with motion. And this is Metatron's cube. This is the 13 spheres of knowledge, the matter, the feminine, seeking within the void, the dark, the unknown with God. And then the masculine expanding it with the energy. But this is the thing, we're making the proper shapes. This has to do with the negative tetrahedron, the negative tetrahedron coming together with the positive tetrahedron or tetrahedrons, whatever way you want to look at it. Because we have the negative tetrahedron of water and earth coming together with the positive tetrahedron of air and fire. And that is literally when we expand with our light codes here with Christ consciousness. And this is where the negative meets the positive. So let's see. Let's see what's being activated officially. We're going here. So the Muse Tarot. night of emotions well there's forward movement this has to do with temperance and what was activated with the solar eclipse in libra and there it is it's the transformation with the masculine and feminine the alchemy with the shell and the shell is the sacred geometry of the expansion because it is it's the the cube plus the sphere expanding we have the night of emotions this is love forward movement so it's official we're having motion with love with the queen of materials and the nine of materials so look at that we're expanding through the earth with the muse of materials and look at that there's a gateway so we're materializing with the gateway we do need the king and queen of earth for this part of the transformation. They're in a bigger message that was going to be shared today that is all sitting here on the table. And there, this is expanding in the garden of Venus with love. But look at, look at which chakras we're using. We're, we're expanding from the lower chakras to the upper. And right now it's all happening within the solar plexus. In order to understand how to materialize our ten of pentacles because the bigger the message that's sitting on the table oh look and the moon so the moon is showing us how to materialize our ten of pentacles and really literally right here the king and queen of pentacles are sitting here as part of this extended message that i'm working on here and we need them is because we're having an earth star activation like this star activation because we're going from this place to this place because divine masculine and feminine are healing intimacy in order in order to do that we're working with the underworld kundalini energy okay obsessions and what we're doing is we're having an earth star activation and that's what's happening right here right we're having an earth star activation because remember we have to make the right shapes here the negative plus plus the positive it's a beautiful tarot magician so we are in manifestation mode this is putting us into to and the two of cups and there it is and that's what this this main message is all about through what the, through the nine of pentacles in that look 
through the nine of pentacles we're shifting through the earth remember we're materializing through the earth this is about the ten of pentacles we have to deal with our heartache and the high priestess is here to help us with that it's it's the two of cups and that's the message that's right here this remember this is about the activation with the aries full moon so divine masculine structure and divine feminine nurture where we heal from tyranny and neglect the empress and the emperor right aries and venus meeting up here with love so look they're meeting up here like this like this right right here from fear to love through what the application of self-love through meditation so we speak through the heart with the application of self-love through meditation from within and this is applying self-love within and this is healing from shame and guilt and lower vibrational things of knowing this space and place of knowing this we have to heal from what has happened between divine masculine and divine feminine within the lower world we have to heal with shame and guilt when we go from drinking from the cup of lust and expanding with the ace of cups and understanding that we're whole it's part of this world it's part of us it's part of our expansion we're whole okay we're whole here we're not just here we've gone here to be whole and to see it anyways we become aware we become conscious of being here to expand with the ace of cups and that is literally going from this space to this space here what is in alignment what is divine through within through an activation within and we're going to get deeper into what this is this message just this bigger message is right here um and it has to do with a higher purpose and integrity and that's what's coming together within these two cups because what we're doing is we're expanding partnerships here between divine masculine and divine feminine because they are conscious lovers and that's how you know we need we need the energy of Aries here. We need the structure here in order to build this space and place. But we're honoring that we're building this space and place from within. It's happening through from within to without. It's it's happening from going within and creating peace through meditation. Peace within the mind's eye to be in love rather than fear. And that's what's happening within these two cups between the feminine and masculine is is going from from fear to love and right now we're all in a time of facing our fears with love with the application of love to heal to heal like the, the, this this third eye situation that's bunging up the mind's eye but as we see, we're getting in manifestation mode and it's achieved. We clear it up. So we will extend this message next time we meet up. Until then, you know, I'm sending it to you. Those good, good healing vibes. Much love.